Thank you. What I have to say is that no matter what they say, no matter what people say, the INEC have done their best. As far as I'm concerned, this is one of the freest and fairest elections we've had in Nigeria. Now, let me tell you, when you come out and tell us that there were killings, there were this and that, are you using it to judge the entire 36 states of the Federation? Did you hear of any killings of violence in FCT election? Did you hear of any killings of violence in Benue State election? Did you hear of any killings in even, okay, because you have a pocket of violence in Kogi, pockets of violence in where and where, maybe 10 or, or, or 9 states, you now say the entire election was flawed? Is that how these people judge? That's what I continue to say. We should allow INEC to do their job. Allowing the INEC, INEC chairman to do their job. Anything you think the INEC chairman has not done well, go to court and report it. You cannot be on television and be insulting people and be crying and be... And that's what they have been doing. You are the one insulting people. Please, my mind should be on. Let me talk to this one. Com com compelling us that we must vote for Obi. Compelling us that we must vote for Atiku. Now they have lost woefully distant third position. They are still on television insulting people. We have never insulted anyone. We don't insult. As you are looking at me now, I am in Lagos. We are going from local, local government to local government, canvassing votes for Governor Chidesa Walu. The election will be coming on this Saturday. I'm busy doing my job. I will not come and be insulting anybody like the other man there is sitting insulting me. No, I know if he's looking at me one on one, he wouldn't say it. It's because maybe I'm on television with him. Look at the cross. You don't insult people. You don't insult people. Uh, all right. Uh, Anything you think that is not right, you channel it to the appropriate quarters. 